Hi there, my name is Dan McPherson and I'm a senior tech writer for Red Hat's customer content services. This video is part of a series on Red Hat Satellite 6 and focuses on the application lifecycle. Satellite 6 manages the application lifecycle of your systems. This means you can separate systems into various stages chained together. For example, before a software company releases a new feature in an application to the public, it must be developed and pass a testing phase. This means the application goes through a development stage, a QE phase, and finally, a production phase. This also introduces a concept in Satellite 6 known as a content view. A content view contains a snapshot of content at a particular point in the application lifecycle. For example, you might use the latest packages in your development environment and use more stable packages in your production environment. An advantage of using content views is that you can promote these views along the lifecycle chain. For example, when the development environment is ready to be tested, you can promote it to the QE environment. When ready for release, you can promote that to the production environment. In essence, this provides a level of patch management and environment control during stages of development. Once you publish a content view, Satellite 6 pushes it to its capsules. Let's start creating our application lifecycle. I've logged into Satellite 6. From here we select our example organization. Next, we navigate to Content, Lifecycle Environments. At the moment, there is only one environment in our lifecycle. This environment, the library, is a base level environment containing all content in our organization. Let's create an additional three environments to chain from the library. Development, testing, and production. Simply press the plus button to create a new environment in the chain. We now have a chain of environments for our application lifecycle. It is worth noting also that you can create multiple environment chains to suit other lifecycles relevant to your organization. Now that we have defined our environments, Let's create a content view. Navigate to Content, Content Views. Click Create New View and give your view a name. The first screen that displays is our list of repositories synchronized from the previous video. Let's add the complete Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 repository by selecting it and clicking Add Repository. This adds all content from the repository to the view. Now, let's publish the view. Publishing the view means that we have a live version accessible by our systems. Each time you publish a view, it succeeds the previously published version. The publishing process completes after a few minutes. We now have a content view. Let's try something more complex. In this example, I'll simulate patching the Apache web server with a new version of the HTTPD package. Let's look at the errata related to the repositories. Clicking this link automatically takes you to the content search page, which you can access by navigating to content, content search. As a quick demonstration, I'm going to search for errata with HTTPD in the title. This shows three errata. Let's look at the version number of each. As you can see, version 2.4.6-31 is the latest. 
I'm going to simulate patch control with an old version to this latest version. Let's do another search to see what the oldest version is. As you can see, the oldest version is 2.4.6-17. We're now going to add filters to our existing content view. First, we'll add one to simulate the production environment using a package. Then, we'll add another filter to upgrade to the latest package. Head back to our content view and navigate to Content Filters. Add a package filter and set the filter type to exclude. Next, choose the HTTPD package and set the exclusion range to be greater than 2.4.6-18, which is inclusive. Publish a new version of this view. We'll skip waiting for the view to publish. You can see the difference in package totals, which means our filter works. Let's also have a look on our content search screen. The content search screen shows only the old package. Let's now promote the view across all environments. Promoting from library to development. Promoting to testing. And promoting to production. We can also set up the content search to view package versions across all environments. So our web server is using the old package. Then one day we receive an erratum regarding a new version of the package. So let's patch our web server with the latest version. Navigate to the filter in our content view. Remove the package from the list and add a new package. Enter HTTPD again, but this time we'll exclude any package less than 2.4.6-30. Now let's publish a new version of the view.
As you can see, the package turtles haven't changed from version to version, but this is because we're replacing one old version of the package with another. Let's take a look at our content search. If we refresh the content search screen, we'll see that our library is using a new view which contains the latest HTTPD package. Let's promote that view to production. We'll skip straight to after I finished. All environments are now using this content view. Let's look at our content search. As you can see, all environments are using the latest version of the package. This shows a simple example of how Satellite 6 performs patch management. You can perform more complex content management through the use of more filters, additional repositories, and composite content views, which are a special type of view that incorporates multiple subviews working together. That concludes this video in the Red Hat Satellite 6 series. Thanks for watching.